Today we're going to talk about capacity. Capacity is another way that we can measure things. When we measure the capacity of a container, we find out how much it can hold. The pot can hold more than the glass. It has a greater capacity. The glass holds less than the pot. It has less capacity. Let's use what we know about capacity to solve a problem. I went to the candy store and I only had $1 to spend. The clerk told me that I could use my dollar to purchase a container. A container is an object that can be used to hold something. And when I purchased a container for a dollar, I could fill it up with lemon drops. I love lemon drops and I wanted to make sure that I got as many lemon drops as I could for a dollar. So I looked at the two containers, container A, container B. I wanted to buy the container that would hold the most, that would have the greatest capacity. To see which container will hold the most, I have to fill them up with lemon drops to see which container holds more lemon drops. Let's start with container A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Container A holds nine lemon drops. Now let's see how many lemon drops container B holds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Container B holds 12 lemon drops. Let's write the numbers so we can remember how many lemon drops each container holds. Container A holds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm gonna write the number nine. Container B, let's see how many container B holds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So I'm gonna write the number 12. Which container holds more lemon drops? Container A or container B? The number 12 is more than the number nine. So that means that container B holds more lemon drops. So which one do you think I'm gonna buy? That's right, I'm gonna buy container B because I want as many lemon drops as I can get for a dollar. Now let's use what we know about capacity to put different containers in order. Here we have three containers. Down here I have the word most and the word least. Above the word most, I'm going to put the container that has more capacity, that has the most capacity, it will hold the most. And above the word least, I'm going to put the container that holds less. Which one do you think would hold the most that has the greatest capacity? The bucket, the bag, or the barrel? That's right, the barrel has the most capacity. It holds more. Which one do you think holds the least amount? The bag. 
the bag holds the least. And then we put the bucket right in the middle. And here we have our containers from the container that holds the most to the container that holds the least. Remember, the container that holds the most has greater capacity. Let's go to the next page. Here we're going to put them in order from most capacity to the least capacity. We have a basket, a pot, and a beaker. Which container are we going to put above the word most? The one that has the greater capacity. That's right, the pot. The pot holds the most. Which container are we going to put above the word least? The beaker. The beaker has less capacity. And the basket will place right in the middle. And here we have our containers in the order from most to least. Let's go to the next page. Here we're going to also put the containers in order from the most to the least. We have a barrel for oil, a trash can, and a recycling bin. Which container are we going to put above the word most, the one that has the greatest capacity? The trash can holds more. It has the greatest capacity. Which holds the least? The recycling bin, it, it holds the least. It has less capacity. And the barrel right here in the middle. Our containers are in order from most to least. Now this page looks a little bit different. The first word here is least. The last word is most. So this time we're going to put containers in order from the least to the most. So which container we have a bucket of water, a fish tank, and a treasure chest? Which one do you think would go above the word least that has less capacity? The bucket of water. Which container do you think we would put above the word most that has the greatest capacity, that holds more? The fish tank. And the treasure chest will go right here in the middle. This time we put our containers in order from the least to the most. On this page, we're also going to do from the least to the most. So in the first line, we're going to put the container that holds less. Is it the coffee cup, the vase, or the mug? Which one holds the least? The coffee cup holds the least. It has less capacity than the other two containers. Which container holds the most? That's right, the vase. It has more capacity than the coffee cup and the mug. We'll put the mug right in the middle. And here our containers are in order from the least to the most. Let's try it one more time. From least to most. Remember, we're measuring capacity and putting the containers in order from the least to the most. We have a bucket, a shopping cart, and a cardboard box. Which, con which container holds less than the rest of them? The bucket has, holds the least. It has less capacity than the shopping cart and the box. Which one holds the most? The shopping cart. The shopping cart holds more than the bucket and the cardboard box. 
And here we have our containers in order from least to most. I hope you enjoyed our lesson on capacity.